TP in the place to be, man. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm finna go ahead and get into it, man. Today we got WAG 100 and these academics. They're doing a little dissecting of the takeoff situation. Um, WAG 100, he, you know, he when he not on his BS, he found he be having some good stuff to say. So if y'all know about my channel, I done definitely had some stuff to say about WAG 100. Whenever it came down to just controversial stuff going on, you know, he usually had he usually is on the wrong side of the situation. But on this time, you know, he's on the right side. So we finna go ahead and just kind of dissect it and break it down. So let's get into it. All I heard was nephew Quavo say, man, we out. Let's go. I'm going to be honest, though. I'm going to be honest, though. What he said, too, though, he said, y'all going to make me hurt somebody. And, and you know, for a lot of niggas, you in an environment with all niggas now. That could be... I have something to say about that. that and just to give y'all a little bit of background on the situation, you know, I don't know if y'all knew, but Pat, uh, Takeoff passed away Tuesday morning in he, uh, downtown Houston due to a, uh, just, just an altercation between some guys that turned into a, you know, to a deadly uh, shooting. And y'all you know about Texas laws recently. Um, you know, I'm from Texas, so, you know, you pretty much been able to get a gun or at least to carry a rifle on you or a shotgun. When you turn 18, you turn 21, you can get a rifle. You know, you know, after I turned about 21, they started kind of changing the laws where you could open carry. And then, you know, now we got concealed, concealed carry. You know, Texas, the law of the land is kind of like, People don't really want to kind of move out of pocket because the next man might have exactly what you got. And like, is it worth y'all both shooting it out, trying to see who going who gonna pass up from the situation? Like most people just kind of see seem like, you know, I'm just gonna let let, you know, let let it slide and I keep my life today. So that's a little bit of background on the situation, kind of the um, you know, what's going on in Texas. So if you're wondering, you know. Quavo came down here saying some things out you know, he, he said a, some last minute things in the conversation that might've had the, you know, might've made the folks who, who were able to carry or who did carry a little leery of the situation. And on top of that, we had a dude who had a, who had his pistol drawn, you know, around the time while they arguing. So that might make everybody uneasy, but you know, that's just, that's a little bit of background that they're not going to talk about. So. Niggas, you're in an environment with all niggas now. That could be. I have something to say about that. That could be taken as a threat. Like, if you and a nigga arguing and in your face, and all of a sudden he said, man, man, whack, I slapped the shit out of you, nigga. You gonna immediately respond how? Um, depending on what the situation is. Well, well, clearly in this situation, like, I think, I think some Quavo felt a nigga was trying to press him, but the other nigga was trying to mediate it because he said, yo, yo, they family with us. Like, he's the Mike Prince. He said, yo, they family with us. So it ain't going to be no disrespect. His family, they ain't going to try to disrespect you type shit. And then all of a sudden, they started talking about basketball and some other shit. Should have stopped it. Should have stopped it. Should have been over it. Yeah. At that point. I mean, but you know, at the end of the day, I advise all artists, bro. And I stand on this shit. We had a time where it's a reset going on. It happens about every decade or so. It's been a lot of crazy shit going on the last year. I, you know what I'm talking about. Outrageous, crazy shit. Motherfucking robbery shoots in Beverly Hills. Way out shit, right? Like, bro, do what you got to do. Fulfill your obligations. All that extracurricular activity just because minimize the chances of some bullshit happening and cut that out your program, bro. And wait this shit out, bro, and see what next summer looking like. Do what you gotta do. Do your studio time. Do your events that you have to do. But all this, yo, let's just pull up over here just because fuck that. You know, <clears throat> in short terms, he kind of stand, saying what I be saying, you know, the reason why my channel's TP in the cut because, you know what I'm saying, it's about being in the cut, about being out the way. Trying to make it to the house. You know what I'm saying? So he he kind of telling everybody right now, you know what I'm saying? Stay out the way. Just kind of go go collect that bag. Get in your car. Fly home. You know what I'm saying? Keep what protection you can. Call security. Tap in. But make sure and make sure and, you know, do what it takes to make it home. 
eliminate the possibilities of some bullshit happening for no reason, bro, and get out the way. Hey, I'm, hey I, I, I wanted to ask you this too, right? Because I really disagree with this principle, especially when it comes to shit like this, right? I don't think this is happening because, like, with this situation, this not rap doing it. It's the culture around rap, you know what I mean? Like, y'all niggas shooting dice basically still in the hood. No longer exclusive. Superstars used to be exclusive. Yeah, you can't that's true. Do them like that. Niggas think now you got to go to the hood and be seen with the gutter to be, you know, official or to be. Nah, bro. That's what. And that's like part of what I was talking about in my last video, you know, the rest in peace takeout video. <coughs> You know, some folks, they feel like they got to <coughs> stick their head out, be seen. You know, they trying to, <coughs> you know, try to mosey here, mosey back. But it's like, doesn't it just make more sense to just stay fully out the way? Like, some of these little extracurricular activities is the little hangouts and stuff like that's how folks be getting caught up. You know what I'm saying? The little after hour spots right outside the club. Outside the club, you know what I mean? The folks who can't get in, but they sit in the parking lot, parking lot pimping, trying to, you know what I'm saying, find somebody to finagle. Um, so, you know, knowing that all these situations can definitely occur while, while, while an artist is out and about, you know, um, makes it to where, you know, the, rap, the rappers these days, they feel like they got to go to these places, tap in, try to make themselves feel more relatable. But then while they are more relatable, you know, while they think they're more relatable, it's folks out there with no chains on, looking at their chains, no money, looking at their money, no clout, looking at their clout. And instead of trying to figure out how to get it like them, they just go ahead and just try to take it from them or, or be envious of the situation. So. What you got the internet for? Bro, feed your fans. That's all the fucking official you need to be, bro. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Putting something out on TikTok, dropping a video, uh, dropping something on the streaming uh, platforms, or even just feed them, you know, on Instagram, bro, it's got way more reach than going to fuck around over here where it's, you know, three, four hundred niggas, you know, from the hood. Yo, yo, it, it, here's the funny part, too, because, you know, you know, I, I ain't got no legal degree, but I did a little research. And so, you know, you know how they do it in Texas. If that shit is murder, you get life. If it's manslaughter, which is see that that might come into play, right? If 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 it's just they could prove, you know what I mean? Well, it's two people. It's actually two or three people shooting. So there's so there's the guy with the. What you say? I heard a couple situations. Off in the... Yeah, but it's I heard a couple things going on. So I didn't. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a couple know. weapons going. Yo, so in a in a possibility. Somebody could catch a manslaughter charge if, like, say they. I'm just giving a scenario. A nigga say. Accidental. I get you what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, it, if a nigga say, "Yo, well, I was, I was protecting Quavo. Yeah, I up the fire, and yeah, I hit the wrong person, but that's that's accidental. So that's that's manslaughter. In Texas, the max you can get is only 20 years on a manslaughter. 20 years. On a murder, it's 100 years. Man, and I'm gonna tell y'all right now, academics is not lying, bro. Like, all them places not even going like, and I'm gonna give y'all just a straight comparison. For instance, Chicago. I don't know necessarily how they do their laws there. I don't know necessarily if folks be getting caught up as you know as much as they do the crime. You know, you know. But for instance, like a city like Fort Worth, taking accountability. I mean, uh, we're gonna take it into account. Um, Fort Worth, you do something, bro, they're going to catch you, and they're going to hit you with the book, the whole book. So, like, it ain't going to really be no chances of a lot of people just catching 10 homies in Texas, like, four homies in Texas, three homies in Texas. No, it don't really sound, that don't even be sounding right, because, like, folks be getting caught. When they get caught, they get hit with the book. We never see them again. And, like, a lot of laws don't change. Maybe some do, but a lot of these folks who done who done did a lot, of, a lot of these violent crimes, they not getting out the situation. So you know how where, where we turn into where you know where, where where the situation definitely turns into is people out here really just kind of learn have to learn how to chill, and they kind of and, and in Texas it's really a cool place to be. You know it is violence here and there because people are able to have their guns. It's gonna be ignorance everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? But 
folks be not trying to get hit with the hundred years. You know what I'm saying? And folks don't be trying to lose their life because they know the next man can have what they got. So, you know, I ain't, I ain't saying Texas is the most perfect state, but if you look at it, when it comes down to like the law of the land, it kind of help certain folks like be in good situations. You know, if Quavo and Takeoff both had at least maybe a fire on them, you know, maybe, you know, maybe it was a situation where they could have returned fire. They could have, you know, made the guys, you know, understand that they can't take it from them or something like that, you know, maybe it would have turned into a different situation. Um, you know, it is what it is. So we can't necessarily go too much into trying to say, you know, it, you know, if it would have been this and it been that. But, um, you know, that's just definitely, you know, um, part of my take on the situation. I definitely feel like the folks who kind of going to going hard on Quavo, you know, I understand where y'all coming from in this situation. You know what I'm saying? He he did have an attitude and he kind of went about it the wrong way. But, um, you know, in, in situations where you feeling heated and, you know, you might be feeling justified in the situation, you know, it might be very hard for you to, to get off your high horse to, to, to be willing to apologize or to, to, to not, you know, take certain situations in certain places whenever you feel like you justified or maybe you feel like you also protected. So, you know, I can't put all the blame into, um, into Qu on Quavo. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't necessarily pull the trigger, but he was out. But he was arguing with the people who might have did it. You know, might have been arguing with the, the person who did it. So, um, you know, as the case unravels, there's a whole lot of different uh, pieces and parts that keep coming out. So y'all let me know, um, you know, what y'all think about the situation. Is TP in the place to be, man? Y'all go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't already. Go ahead and turn on the notification bell. Go ahead and hit the sub button if you haven't already. Uh, we on the road to 1K subs. We trying to get get there or at least get to, you know, about 500 by the end of December. So y'all go ahead and hit that sub button if you haven't already, man. And I'm going to get at y'all on the next one. Y'all stay out the way. Until next time.